So we got some massive X-Men news and updates yesterday coming out from Deadline. I think it's hard for some of us to understand why this is cool. And so what I'm telling you is this X-Men news is a way bigger deal than a lot of people think. X-Men movie at Marvel Studios gains momentum as Michael Leslie comes on as screenwriter. What is this? Like, what? why is this a big deal? So, it has been over nine months since Kevin Feige started taking pitches for the X-Men movie. And the X-Men movie is the most coveted job in Hollywood right now, okay? Especially after X-Men 97, which by the way, the first lines in that article from Deadline talk about X-Men 97. They sort of say like, in the wake of X-Men 97, the new MCU live action X-Men gets momentum and an update with this guy, uh, Michael Leslie coming in as the writer, okay? Now, they just gave the most coveted job in Hollywood to, let's say a less than exciting choice, okay? And I think a lot of people probably look at this choice and get a bit confused. Well, let me explain what this is. This is Kevin going with a person who has an incredible track record, has written all sorts of stuff, and is an absolute vet in the space of actually working on movies that see the light of day. This is not Kevin going after a name or a brand or the new hot thing, okay? That's really important. This is a person that is going to be a workhorse. This is a person that's reliable. This is a person that understands the system and can actually put pen to paper and come up with stuff and, and get it out there released. In phase four, I think Marvel Studios made a mistake by chasing some new hot talent and some new young names. You could just kind of name a project and that's probably a thing. Like real talk, that was something that they did. What this is for the X-Men movie, and again, lean in motherfuckers, this is why this is important. It suggests to me that after nine months of hearing pitches from all sorts of people, Kevin has decided to go with somebody that he can just see doing the work, not a brand, not a name, not the hot new thing, somebody that can do the work. This also feels, and this is a little bit of speculation on my part, but I think it's sound and informed speculation. This also feels a little bit more like uh, this is Feige's movie. You remember during phases one, two, and three, there were a lot of different stories and rumors and things that would come out there, which basically would amount to, it's really Kevin Feige making all of these movies. The movies themselves for most writer directors are just summer camp. It's a little bit of film by committee and overall it's just Kevin's vision for the thing. And so to me, this feels like a return to that. Now, the next part of this story, they talk about how there's no director attached and that's true. We have heard some rumors about it and I just, I just think it's interesting. Like if you once again, think about what's happening here, you have the biggest movie, the biggest writer job in Hollywood. You have nine plus months of Kevin deciding this and he goes with, with this gentleman. So I really think it's Kevin as the driving force of this thing, which makes sense. Not only is he the best producer uh, in the history of producing, but he also worked on all the old X-Men movies. He cut his teeth creating the X-Men movies, being a producer on the X-Men movies. That's like a huge part of his come up in the Hollywood system, right? So as far as the directors are concerned, I think just based on the mentality of him going after this specific guy, I think you're probably gonna get somebody in-house, somebody that works well within the system. Somebody that can collaborate with Kevin and that understands it is ultimately Kevin's show. And my two picks for this, and I think I would not be surprised if this comes out in the trades or if some other scoopers talk about this. Some people have, like I think uh, uh, Snyder, Jeff Snyder, who is quoted in that article, I think he's been on to some of the stuff too with like the list. So I think it's either Ryan Coogler or it's Sean Levy. That's what I think it is. It's either Ryan Coogler or it's Sean Levy. And both of those guys have worked on really important and very difficult movies for Marvel. I like Coogler a lot. I don't love Wakanda Forever. I like Wakanda Forever. I don't love it, but I will say I really think that Coogler deserves a medal, maybe just like a hug from somebody and a lot of recognition because that was maybe one of the hardest movies to make. The amount of rewrites, the amount of consideration, the amount of like weight that was on that film after Chad passed, the balancing of doing what Marvel wanted to do, but also what he wanted to do, what he felt like was important for the characters, the audience, all of that catharsis. That's a, that was a 
very fucking difficult movie. Very difficult to make, okay? So I would not be surprised if Coogler becomes the guy for X-Men because it's a similar type of boat. Sean Levy. Bro, I think Deadpool and Wolverine is about to blow everybody away. I think it's about to crush and I think there would be an obvious connection for a guy who's about to handle a bunch of X-Men in a movie and the potential of doing the next X-Men film. I also think the thing I love about Sean Levy movies is the heart. All these movies have a lot of heart, bro. You go back and watch his catalog. Dude, the real still movies are crazy good and they, they have heart bro. Like they've just got a lot of heart. And I think ultimately X-Men 97 kind of just proved that X-Men really does need a lot of heart. You know what I mean? So I would see it being one of those, one of those two guys. Okay. Now the extra bit here at the end, and this is absolutely real. We don't know exactly what it means, but this is absolutely real. This is coming from Cryptic HD. He's uh, an account out there, kind of gets some scoops and stuff. He's talking about how there are multiple X-Men projects in development right now. And I believe that. In fact, we've heard some rumors about what they might be. So I will explain what I think these movies could be and explain where I think this is all going, okay? So you've got your core X-Men movie. I think the core X-Men movie is not gonna have Magneto. It's not gonna have Wolverine. It may or may not even have Charles. So you've heard some of the people talk about like female centric or it focus on the female characters. I wouldn't describe it that way, but I wouldn't be surprised if the team was like Emma and Kitty and Scott and beast and maybe colossus like the uncanny x-men run which happened uh with joss whedon in the comic books i kind of feel like that might be the direction that they go but here's the thing magneto is apparently being saved for his own project which i think is probably either like a brotherhood of mutants or some kind of like darker side of the mutants with magneto i think that's absolutely real I've heard that Wolverine will be saved for maybe an Alpha Flight project or maybe a Weapon X project. So maybe those things are the same thing. Maybe it's Weapon X, but he's with the Alpha Flight now, uncovering things about Weapon X or Weapon Plus. That, by the way, fits so well with everything that we're currently building in the MCU. Captain America Brave New World is supposed to introduce adamantium, super soldier programs, you know, Weapon X, Weapon, Weapon Plus. So I could see them going in that direction. Now, here's one that kind of throws rose me but it could be very important to perhaps what they want to do with the x-men i have heard that children of the vault is something that will also be developed now children of the vault is really interesting this is actually something that was written by guy i think his name is denise camp i apologize if i'm getting your name wrong he's doing the new ultimates run right now in comics he wrote a great book called 20th century man uh which was which was awesome and kind of his break-in book really great writer and i believe he handled a lot of children of the vault stuff and they show back up in the Krakoa area basically children of the vault is humans that are given like crazy powers that were kept in like a vault which then come out and try to save the world and kind of replace mutants it's like a weird kind of a story I i'm not 100 percent sure how they're gonna adapt that the other thing that's being talked about and we've heard rumors of this too is that the next phase past secret wars is going to focus on the x-men now i had originally wanted and i was hoping that we were gonna get avengers vs x-men potentially during secret wars or before secret wars i think that it's still possible that that happens they do have monica in another universe that's a Fox X-Men universe. I've heard that they could still be doing that. But I think whether or not that happens, the mutants and the X-Men themselves are going to be the focus of the phase after Secret Wars. So in the soft rebooted MCU, you will have focus beyond the mutants and the X-Men. The Avengers are gonna fall to the background and most of the movies, like I'm talking about most of the movies, We'll be focusing on mutants or X-Men characters. We're getting an X-Men saga. Now, maybe that eventually leads to an Avengers vs. X-Men or some other kind of crazy thing that they decide to do. But the point is, that seems to be what the big plan is. I think this is also another reason why they're not going to delay Secret Wars. Like, I think they want to do Secret Wars promptly, and then they want to jump into the next stuff promptly. They just want to get into mutants as fast as possible. And I think what they really want is they want that soft reboot at MCU. They want the Fantastic Four. They want Iron Man. They want uh, the X-Men. They want Spider-Man. They want all of them existing in the same universe. 
And I think that is what will get a lot of focus after Secret Wars. So it's possible that stuff they're developing right now is actually stuff that is going to be the next phase of the MCU. Like the next phase for of the MCU in general. It's like such a big deal for them. It's potentially even a bigger deal than Secret Wars. I think Secret Wars kind of cashes its own check. Like, I don't know how, like even if they screw up Secret Wars and it feels a little thin, it's gonna make bajillions of dollars. It's gonna make all of us fans super happy. Like Toby, Hugh, RDJ together. That's gonna go nuts, dude. That's gonna go so hard. And I still think it'll be compelling and have a good story, but perhaps they've realized a lot of where their energy needs to go is with the X-Men developing it after that. So that's the news. I think Feige's taking full ass control, no diddy, of this. And I also think they're developing multiple mutant projects and they're building out an entire phase that is going to focus on the mutants. And I'm excited for that shit. So that's the updates, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know how you feel about it.